All right, sports fans, it's Friday night. Time for the original, the one and only Friday Night Sports Blitz. Our cameras will take you front and center to the best area high school football action, highlights, and scores. So grab a seat. Here we go. The Friday Night Sports Blitz. Sponsored by Krista's Prompto Urgent Care and by Matthews Air Comfort Solutions. Hey, good evening. Welcome to the Blitz. We had a whopping 12 games tonight for week eight, but really the one off the top, living up to the game of the week mantra and then some. <laughs> I think we, we, this is a week where we had you, the fans, vote for who you thought would win because we knew this is the game of the week. Yep, exactly. Let's not waste any time. Let's hop on in to our game of the week. And possibly, I don't want to go over here, but this might be the game of the year in the regular season. Miller facing Flower Bluff, a packed house at Buck Stadium. Miller and Bluff tied atop District 15 5A Division 1. Both teams undefeated in district play. Bluff the first to strike in this one. Andrew Schmidt to a wide open Preston Wilkie. Picks up some yak to the painted turf. Bluff takes a 7-0 lead early. Miller would counter in its next drive. Andrew Body, I'm telling you, this kid might be the best quarterback in our viewing area. Going deep for Cassius Clay. It's good to be good. You can say that after that catch there. Miller set up nicely. Drive will wind up in the five where the Bucks would turn to a kid that had a huge night for Miller. McCauley and Williams punching it in. Tie ball game. Hey, Coach Evans happy with that performance there. To the second quarter we go. Again, it would be Bluff to score first in the quarter. Schmidt finding Christian Ramos. Bluff, a team better known for pounding the ball, the run game, but they're getting it done through the air. Later in the drive, how sweep it is to take the lead. Michael Newcomer puts Bluff up once again by a score, but then later in the quarter, Miller again, they're not going away. They would answer back. Body over the middle to Ralph Rodriguez. This kid has Jets. Former three news athlete of the week. Shows wow. off his moves, gets in the five, where again the Bucks would turn to the ground game. Marcel Davis, this time for six, punching it in. So how about that? The run game getting it done for Miller. And Miller winds up getting the win tonight. 34-28. They stay undefeated on the season and take sole possession atop District 15-5A Division I. Good win for the Bucks. Let's get over to Cal Allen. The Wildcats hosting Toloso Midway tonight. Here. Early on, TM with the early advantage. J.D. Garcia, he's been having a great year for them, finding Jordan Bueno, muy bueno for TM. They go up at Phil Danaher Field, 7-0 early. Cal Allen, though, trying to answer. Charlie Hill with the four-yard touchdown scamper in. That ties the game 7-7. Now, TM, though, not deterred because this time, Noah Barrientes, he was up for play of the week last week with the score. TM goes up 14 to 7. You think, are they going to beat the Cal Allen for the first time in 40 years? No, not so much. Cal Allen would eventually crank it up. You know, they've had some slow starts this season, but Cal Allen gets it done tonight in the rivalry game. 35 14, your final. All right, now, Al is still undefeated after the Port Lavaca scandal, we'll say. Mustache is still intact for the coaches. And tonight they showed out offensively. RJ Salai is off the little screen pass there. He gets the first down. Later in the drive, Isaiah Aguilar. Now this is a pass. I watched this play and said, oh my goodness, beautiful throw. Finds Waylon Moore to take the early lead and Alice would just keep on building on that lead. They get the win 56 to 17. So those stashes are alive and well. All right, let's head over again to the San Antonio area. The Southside Cardinals hosting Gregory Portland tonight. Here are the Cardinals early on. Watch this, their quarterback, Alejandro Escamilla, buying time. Look at the gun on this kid. Woo. Oh, my word. The bomb to Caleb Camarillo. That would be the play of the week. If you're in our viewing area, he's not. He's a San Antonio kid, but hey, getting heck of an arm. Michael Hernandez here with the catch. All south side early, but GP coming back. Jeremy Barker going to hit Jude Wiggins. The Wildcats staying in this thing off the tip catch. Nice, but south side too much in this one. 36-24, your final Cardinals get it done tonight. So 
Uh, again, getting back to that game of the week, you know, Miller's been saying all year, hey, we are the real deal. This is now a win they can point to and say, hey, we beat one of the big boys. Yeah. So now here we are right up here at top and, of the and district. And that's something we've seen in the past. Miller has kind of been on the come up for a couple years now. Yep. But they haven't got that win, that statement win. And now they get it done this season. They get that statement win. So Miller. Clear cut, yep. they're at the top of 15 And you know, that's now two wins in a row over Flower Bluff. They beat them on their field uh, last year as well before faltering later in the district. So uh, again, Justin Evans' Bucks get it done. And Cal Allen, again, we saw another slow start tonight yeah, yeah. from Cal Allen. And you know, they got it done again. But you know, you gotta think eventually, especially come playoff time, hey, gotta get it started early. I will say this, the Cal Allen coach Phil Danher, they do the ground and pound type yep, of deal. You yeah. wear your opponents out. It's true, And Long I think haul. that's, I I think that's why we're seeing these scores, but I, yeah. I, like you said, at a certain point, you're going to face a team that you're not going to yep. score enough because that other team comes out. You know, and even at Port Lavaca later in district, yeah, yeah, we've seen how many points they can put up mm -hmm. as well. All right, who we got for uh, the sounds hey, tonight? Wait, a great game out at Buck Stadium tonight. <laughs> Flower Bluff did not get the win, but they did have some great sounds. Take a listen. More action highlights coming your way right after this brief timeout.